Google Duo on Android is using a new audio technology so that people have high quality and reliable audio during their video calls on any network. This audio technology is called Lyra. It is developed specifically for when you're on a low bandwidth connection like 2G. And what you just saw and heard in action was it compressing the sound of my voice in real time to the point that it could run at three kilobits per second and still sound like me. This means it could even work on an old dial-up modem operating over a landline. Last year, Google Duo and Google Meet hosted one trillion minutes of video globally, which really proved to us that video calls have quickly become the best way for people around the world to feel connected to each other. We built Lyra because in places like India and Brazil, some rural areas still run on 2G, while busy cities everywhere often experience congested networks. This can lead to the audio and video calls breaking up or disconnecting, which makes it hard for people to stay in touch. Google Duo is beginning to roll this out now, so people can video call their friends and family anytime, anywhere, and not experience audio issues. After Lyra is rolled out on Google Duo, we plan on releasing it as an open source technology that can be built into any communications platform. To develop Lyra, we had to solve several technical challenges, such as background noise, handling multiple speakers, and getting it to work on a phone in real time. We also had to make sure that this could work for everyone. Everyone's voice is different, so Lyra needed to work across different languages and accents. To solve these challenges, we worked with publicly available data to train the model. This spanned thousands of hours of voice in more than 70 different languages and accents. These utterances were then augmented by adding artificial gain, noise, and reverberation to make sure Lyra can handle any situation it might encounter. The industry has been looking how to use machine learning to compress audio for a while, but this is the first time we brought everything together and solved a lot of those technical problems. That's why we're excited about making Lyra open source, because we see it as a fundamental building block for what's next in audio compression.